AMD just released its uh, Ryzen 9 4900 HS for uh, notebooks and it's faster than every single Intel chip for notebooks in the market. Let's see how they did it. So quick context, AMD closed out uh, 2019 pretty strongly. Uh, there is a large uh, demand for its Ryzen CPUs which are uh, outperforming the uh, Intel i9s. Um, its desktop market share in the desktop CPUs has risen to 18.3% uh, up 2.4% in uh, 2019 and its uh, notebook uh, share has uh, risen to 16.2% up 4% in uh, 2019. So the demand for uh, AMD's uh, Ryzen CPUs is uh, driven by two things. One is its new uh, microarchitecture, the Zen 2, uh, which it has adopted in the Ryzen line of CPUs. Uh, so for a quick comparison, for gaming applications, uh, these are the games. The orange ones are the AMD Ryzen 93900X desktop CPU frame rates. And the, the blue is the Core i9-9900K. Uh, it offers uh, you know comparable performance uh, to the Core i9 for uh, uh, Full HD gaming, but for uh, multi-threaded applications uh, for these benchmarks uh, Cinebench, Redo Premiere uh, It's offering a significantly higher performance uh, because of its uh, because of this micro architecture and the 7 nanometer process uh, And uh, this uh, flows down to the Ryzen 7s and the Ryzen 5s as well. So one more reason for uh, the higher performance of the AMD's uh, Ryzen line of CPUs is the 7 nanometer process they follow. 7 nanometer represents the uh, size of the transistors uh, used in the processor. So obviously the lower the number, the smaller the size of the chip, which means more number of chips can be packed, more number of transistors can be packed in the same uh, die area, which leads to better performance, higher efficiency. So AMD is currently at 7 nanometer, uh, Intel's at uh, 10 nanometer. Just for a quick uh, uh, benchmarking, this is a document Intel released in 2011 where they plan to come down to uh, 7 nanometer processes in 2017. It's 2020, they're still at 10 nanometer. Uh, I think they plan to go down to 7 in 2021. One more thing to note is Intel makes its own chips. Uh, AMD uh, makes its uh, chips through uh, uh, global foundries uh, and TSMC. Uh, these foundries, third party, are the ones who have uh, made the advancement uh, from uh, 10 nanometer to 7 nanometer, not uh, AMD themselves. So, in the uh, laptop market, uh, AMD has been uh, doing uh, terribly. Uh, they've been making uh, budget uh, CPUs, uh, leading to uh, lower quality uh, builds from the uh, manufacturers uh, leading to subpar products overall. Uh, the two advancements that we discussed, uh, the Zen 2 microarchitecture and the 7 nanometer fab processes, the Ryzen, the new uh, Ryzen CPUs have not come to uh, notebooks yet. Until uh, in CES 2020, uh, AMD's uh, inspirational leader, Dr. Lisa Su, uh, made this announcement. And so in 2020, we will be introducing the best laptop processor ever built. And how do you do that? How do you do that? The way you do that is by incorporating the right technology elements. So it's about putting high performance Zen 2 CPU cores into the laptop form factor. It's about using seven nanometer technology. So it's simple, uh, Zen 2, better architecture, 15% faster. 7 nanometer, two times the transistor density, and obviously 7 nanometer process also means it's 20% uh, more power efficient. So uh, March 2020, the ASUS ROG uh, Zephyrus G14 is the first laptop with the 4900 HS. LEDs on the outside. 10 hours battery life for a gaming laptop. This is updated to the 4900 HS mm. and an NVIDIA, AMD plus NVIDIA combo. Looks neat, looks clean, looks too thin to be uh, a gaming laptop. Let's check out the benchmarks. Moment of truth, the benchmarks, uh, I'm at uh, techspot.com. Uh, let's see how the 4900 HS held up against uh, the i9-9880H. Um, okay, the result is it's 35% faster. But this consumes 90 watt uh, TDP. Uh, the uh, uh, 4900HS is obviously at 35 watt. They have a better version coming out soon, uh, the 4900H, uh, which is rated at 45, so it should perform better. 
but uh, <laughs> uh, a processor which is dated at one third the TDP is performing 35% faster. Mm, not looking good for Intel at all. Let's look at some of the benchmarks. Cinebench, boom, uh, Ryzen 9, right on top, fastest uh, notebook CPU. Cinebench again, right on top, and break, right up there with Core i9, Blender, 7Z, Adobe, Adobe, PC Mark, right up there. So the verdict's out, Ryzen is comfortably killing much more powerful uh, Intel Core i9 processors. This is a huge blow to Intel. And finally, let's take a look at what our friend Linus from Linus Tech Tips is comparing the 4900Hs with. He's comparing it with the top end uh, i9-9980 HK. Uh, uh, with a higher clock speed at 5 gigahertz, uh, higher power consumption, 45 watt, but obviously a 14 nanometer process against the uh, 7 nanometer of the 4900HS. Uh, let's listen to what he does. 45 watts, boosts to 5 gigahertz, and only exists in much thicker, not mention heavy. So uh, because of uh, the higher power consumption, obviously the laptops need to be bigger to allow better air circulation, allow bigger fans, making gaming uh, laptops clunky, uh, like heavy and uh, consuming huge amounts of power leading to terrible battery backup. Uh, anyone who's ever used a gaming laptop so far uh, knows what I'm talking about. Designs. Uh, let's jump to the bench. This is Cinebench. Uh, the higher score is better. I expect the Intel to uh, do better here because uh, is uh, overclocking into 5 gigahertz and it's consuming higher power. Destroyed, and our video would be delayed until we had a fair comparison, except that that's not how things went down. The Ryzen 9 4900HS killed the i9 9880HK, delivering nearly a quarter more. Okay, this is incredible because the uh, Cinebench score for Zephyr is 25% higher than the top end Intel, uh, which is running at um, uh, consuming more power, running at a higher temperature. Uh, this is incredible. This just means that the uh, competition in uh, gaming laptops went up, a uh, market which Intel has uh, traditionally dominated. Uh, this is uh, this is stunning performance. Uh, so this is a good uh, comparison. Look at the size difference in these two laptops. Look at what the Intel needs for it to keep running at uh, 45 watt. And look at this. This doesn't even look like a gaming laptop. Like I said, this is sleek. It doesn't need the huge air vents that the Intel has. This just uh, redefined uh, uh, mobile uh, gaming and mobile computing uh, altogether. Intel finally, finally has a very worthy competitor in the 4900HS. So, uh, for one last comparison, I think Linus has uh, chosen a very interesting laptop. So, our next sanity check then was to grab a different 8 core laptop. Meet the Acer Helio 700, the epitome of mobile. <laughs> the Acer Helios 700 is the uh, uh, what many refer to as the ultimate uh, gaming laptop. The keyboard slides down. The keyboard actually slides down to reveal two huge fans. Two huge fans to keep the air circulation going uh, uh, because it consumes around um, 90 watts of power. Uh, he's going to compare uh, this uh, to our uh, puny uh, Asus uh, Zephyr SD14 with the 4900. It's just from AMD. Full excess. Now it technically uses the same Core i9. When you are ready to game, you actually move the entire keyboard down and press the turbo button, revealing these two huge fans that can suck in enough air to allow the processor to draw up to 120 watts. Now, this would be a comparison. Uh, let's jump uh, straight to the results. Wow. This time, and this size. We're all getting kind of... What? So, it, it did put up a fight, but this... Uh, I, I can't believe this. The AMD is still still beating uh, the uh, the Helio 700 laptop, running at 90 watts with two huge fans uh, comfortably. 4900HS wow. had to kind of work for it this time. And this size. We're all getting kind of tired of watching AMD kick ass at multi-thread app. So this has uh, been a constant uh, AMD gripe that uh, they do well because they pack in uh, more processors. So uh, multi-threaded applications they uh, do well. But what about single core uh, uh, single core performance? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Applications. 
Let's, Let's talk, talk about single track. Ooh. 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 Even with so even in single thread application, it's right up there. It's right up there and comfortably meeting the uh, ZenBook Pro Duo. This is this is good. So uh, comparably priced. Uh, and Acer is over the clock, locking, unsustainable, and a fourteen. Everything, crushing all the benchmarks. Small. Like so. Okay, this should be the last image uh, of the review. It's a laptop half the size, consuming one third of the power. Uh, at the same price is performing 35% better, uh, consuming 30% uh, of the power, running at a significantly lower temperature. Mobile gaming and mobile CPUs have been uh, have been uh, disrupted. Have been disrupted. Uh, the uh, Ryzen 9 4900HS is the go-to CPU for high-performance uh, computing in a laptop. Uh, as of April 2020. Stay tuned for more updates on this.